While there are new disturbing developments out of Washington tonight regarding the president's belief that he has the legal authority to assassinate U.S. citizens. Incredibly enough, it appears that our commander in chief actually believes that authority exists not only on foreign soil, but right here on American soil as well. Now, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, who has been outspoken on the issue, recently asked the White House to clarify its position on how unmanned drones can be used to target Americans. Well, today he finally got his response. In a a letter sent by uh, U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder, who's America's top cop, he explains, quote, it is possible, I suppose, to imagine an extraordinary circumstance in which it would be necessary and appropriate under the Constitution and applicable laws of the United States for the president to authorize the military to use lethal force within the territory of the United States. In other words, yes, President Barack Obama has the ability to order the assassination of an American citizen on American soil. Pretty incredible. Joining me now with reaction is none other than uh, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. So the president has the power to authorize lethal force, a drone strike against a U.S. citizen on U.S. soil without a trial? Now, this is the same you know, people that <laughs> wanted to give Miranda rights to enemy combatants and constitutional rights to enemy combatants? Well, you know, I find it particularly disturbing. In fact, one of the things I actually admired about the president when he ran for office was that he believed that we should have warrants before we tapped people's phone, that we should have some due process. So he wants a warrant to tap your phone, but he wants no judicial oversight to kill an American. And I think what's important about this is listen to what his response is. His response is, we haven't killed any Americans yet. We don't intend to, but we might. And that's pretty disturbing. And the, the thing about the drone strike program is we're not talking about someone's actively attacking America. We're not talking about planes flying into the World Trade Center. What we're talking about is you're eating dinner in your house, you're eating at a cafe, or you're walking down the road. That's when these drone strikes can occur. It's not about people involved in combat. It's about people who they think might be. And if you're an American and you're accused of a crime, one of the basic principles, one of the protections we've always had is you get a trial. That's an accusation. You don't get convicted without a trial. Well, there's been past instances where the issue of military force against American citizens on U.S. soil has been brought up as it relates to Posse Comitatus. And the Randy Weaver case was one. The, the case of the Branch Davidians was another case. Don't we have laws preventing that from happening? Yeah, after the Civil War, we passed a law, the Posse Comitatus, that says the military doesn't act in the U.S. So even if there is an active, ongoing threat of someone, it's usually the FBI or the police. And the main purpose for this was that they didn't want the military to act where police act differently. Even in the middle of the night here in Washington, D.C., if someone's accused of rape, you call a judge. So it's not the police making the decision, it's the police in conjunction with the judge getting a warrant. But now we're talking about one step further. We're not talking about searching someone's house. We're talking about actually an execution or killing of an American on our soil. And yeah. I cannot believe that they can't answer to this question, they're saying basically yes, they think well, they and, have And this authority. is a lot different. Now, law enforcement would have the right to kill somebody if their lives were threatened. Well, nobody's, uh, nobody's questioning that, but that's absolutely. not what we're talking about here, and that's not what they're saying. Let me, let me show, I want you to deal with the hypocrisy of all of this, Senator, if I can for a minute, because I want you to, for all the people now that are silent, the silence is deafening, as a matter of fact, on this license to kill, basically. Uh, what were they saying against waterboarding, calling it torture? Let's listen to the president and some high-profile Democrats uh, and what they had to say back then. Under my administration, the United States does not torture. My administration is going to operate in a way that leaves no doubt that we do not torture and that we abide by the Geneva Conventions. Waterboarding is torture. It's contrary to America's traditions. It's contrary to our ideals. That's not who we are. That's not how we operate. And anybody who's actually uh, read about uh, and understands uh, the practice of waterboarding would say that that is torture. And that's not something we do, period. There is no appropriate torture, period. We've been arguing that for a long time. They have been arguing to be allowed to torture. 
This is the first administration in American history. The Vice President of the United States says we should be allowed to torture. They argued for torture, for a loophole that allowed them to do it. Now the President stands up and says the United States doesn't torture. Can you, uh, Mr. Vice President, ever envision a time when uh, waterboarding should be used on anyone? No. 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 It's not effective. It's not effective. Uh, Correct. It's not effective. Well, led to bin Laden, number one. So we can't have enhanced interrogation. Very people that were screaming this every day, but they would authorize lethal force drone strikes against U.S. citizens on our soil without a trial, without due process. Well, you know what I would say is there's an enormous amount of hypocrisy coming from President Obama and his administration. But I do want to give credit to some of those on the left who have been consistent, even with a Democrat president. Senator Wyden helped me get this information. He's on the Intelligence Committee, and he stood up and said, I don't care whether it's a Republican or a Democrat president. This is about authority and that the president should not have the authority to do kills on Americans on American soil without a trial. So there have been some good guys. and they they deserve the credit as well because I couldn't have gotten any answer. The president was refusing to answer me, but with Senator Wyden on the left and Senator Chambliss on the right, they were able to get this information. Unfortunately, we got the wrong answer, but I did finally get an answer that basically well, says the president's not intending to, but he might. Yeah, we, we can't use waterboarding. We'll apologize around the world, but we may drone strike you. We may take you out. No trial, no due process. Pretty frightening. And the left, their silence for the most part is deafening. Senator, great work. Good to see you. Thank you.